Tested. Hey guys, Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Apps of the week, let's do it right now. Games! This is Infinity Blade. Infinity Blade, a blade that, of infinite infinites. It, it, that blade looks like it's about an inch and a half long. It doesn't no, look good. Uh, no, Norm. see, it's it's inside a portal. It's actually infinity. Oh, interesting. Blade. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the triangle and make it start. All right, so this is the first big action game from Epic Games, the makers of This looks like Unreal. that Epic Citadel thing. Kinda, except you can't actually walk around. This, um, it's a uh, action RPG okay. with a lot of scripting, yes. um, linear, so oh. you're just moving from spot to spot. Like, for example, click the... I'm going to climb the stairs. The, the shiny spot. Oh, Holy shit! An enemy! Oh my god, a bad guy. And the main gameplay is sword fighting. Slashing. And Slash away well. Okay, so here's how it works. You dodge hitting the button that I just missed. Uh, so there's there's timing, taps right? on either side. Yeah, it's a straight oh. timing game. I Duck. Slash him! Hit his back. Oh, wait, hold on. He has a giant shield. I can't hit him right now. Dodge. Parry. Oh, yeah, right there. Slash. Boom. Yes. Slash. 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 Oh, nice combo. Oh, yeah, huge hit. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking you all kinds up there, big guy. Man, all, um, all that Fruit Ninja stuff has taught me to slash with my finger pretty well. So basically, it seems like there is a dodge, a parry. Oh, I failed to dodge because I went the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Suck slash. it, tubby. Oh, here it goes. Huge hit. If you, if you beat him, you possibly could kick him off the castle. And there's magic as well. I haven't charged oh, up any magic shield. yet. Shield is valueless. It's better you know, to be not hit than block. Shield. Parry. I can't this parry successfully. This is the best-looking iPhone, I, iPad, iOS game I've ever seen. Okay, so he's dead now. And I played Rage HD. Victory. Victory, huge success. Oh, something funny. Oh my God. Kachunk. So that's, that's pretty much the game. This is it. This is all I found so far. I mean, far. there are more, obviously, more enemies to fight, but you yes. do just progress from. You get money, the castle. you can buy stuff, you can level up you your level dude, up. Yep. make yourself more powerful or more magic or whatever. And then you can, there's actually a lot of things you can buy. You can buy different pieces of armor, you know, uh, better swords. Um, it's it's pretty deep game for an iPhone. It's, a, it's, it's surprisingly, it's much more, much closer to like a console game or a more traditional RPG, even though the fighting mechanic is a little bit thin. Yeah, I think. And in between fighting, you can look around, oh, you click the flop, but oh, you can't actually I was pan moving. around. Uh, open boxes, chests to find items, uh, yes. potions. Um, I, I actually like the scripting a lot, um, and, and of course it looks. Wonderful. And it's six bucks. Six bucks. Five ninety nine universal. Fair price for iPad, such iPhone. a great looking game. I, uh, iPhone three GS and newer only, and iPod Touch uh, third gen and newer only. It's about like three hundred meg download. It's not a bad. Let, Norm, do you like Harry Potter? I hate Harry Potter. Why Harry hate Potter, it? I hate you. Why, why do you hate oh, Harry I hate Potter? You. But you know what I like? I like Lego. This is Lego Harry Potter, so oh, you'll man, half I like am this. I'm so conflicted. 50% score. Well, that's decided. Um, this is the first four years of Lego Harry Potter, so it takes us from the Philosopher slash Sorcerer Stone through the Goblet of Fire, I believe. So the first four books. First four books, first four movies. There's only seven years of Harry Potter. Seems like there's only seven years of Harry Potter, even though there are eight movies. If you've played any of the other LEGO games, you will be familiar with this. Uh, basically, the things that they've added, uh, you know, you go through, collect the little studs, you use the studs to buy stuff or unlock prizes and stuff like that. Uh, but basically, we're gonna go through each of the worlds. This is the first one. I haven't started the second one yet. I'm gonna go ahead and, and go into the Chamber of Secrets right now. Or maybe I can't until I finish the first one. That would be a new development. Let's go to the Sorcerer's Stone. Basically, you go through the adventures of Harry Potter in each of the books and or movies, depending on how you look at it. Do it. Uh, and uh, I'm I going to see some awesomeness. go to the restricted section of the library, one of the uh -oh. famous Harry Potter settings. The rated X section of the Harry yeah, Potter library. Chicka wow wow. Loading, uh, loading, loading. Yeah, there, there are a fair number of loading screens. Harry this, Potter, you load too slow. This game, uh, in addition to the tr traditional stuff that we are familiar with from like Lego Star Wars, Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Batman, uh, they've, of course, added spell casting, uh, so we'll we'll see that in a moment. So is this exactly the same as Harry po Lego Harry Potter on, like, uh, a console? Or uh, you know, Wii? I haven't played those games on the console, so it's difficult for me to say. It seems very similar to what I expected from uh, Lego. Obviously, with touch controls. Yeah, with the touch controls. I, I'm having trouble seeing the screen due to glare, but I think we figured it out. So I'm going down so the stairs. a lot of clicking stuff. I don't see a lot of fighting well, or we're, action. We, we're getting there. Oh, hey, presents for Harry. Oh, this is Harry's birthday. So, or, or this is Christmas, actually. So... Um, How thematically appropriate. I'm going to go open some Christmas presents. As you can see, I have a mini-map. The star is on the screen. That is where I'm supposed to go. I cast a spell. Magic missile. Stupefy. Into the darkness. Holy shit, invisibility cloak. 
They're really rare. Who's it from? Don't know who it's from. Maybe it's Dumbledore or my dad's ghost. I don't know. So now I have an invisibility cloak, which I assume gives me a new power, which is the new thing that's added to this. As you progress through the game, you gain new powers. Uh, since you play mostly as Harry, Hermione, and Ron, you the powers are important. Because in previous Star Wars uh, Lego games, you would gain new powers by uh, playing different characters. So, you know, Boba Fett had a rocket pack, uh, Chewbacca had a grappling hook, etc. cetera. Uh, with this, each character, can each get character new powers. gets new powers, and there are some, some powers in common. So Stupify. Stupify, Stupify, Incendio, all of those are common. I don't, I don't see anything I get an Incendio. Mean. They're just Latin y sounding words that mean things. I'm, okay, so I'm going to the Green Arrow. Uh, basically, I played this for like five hours on Saturday. It's totally fun. If you like Harry Potter, if you like Harry if Potter and or Harry Lego Potter games, I, if you're a Potterer, I played this while I was watching Half Blood Prince. I don't see where I'm supposed to. Oh, I'm supposed to put on the cloak. Oops. Here's the map. Invisibility cloak. Wait, where am I? The game is rendering less now. Hey Norm, do you like Monopoly? Uh, I have played Monopoly. I don't think anyone really likes Monopoly. It's the kind of thing you do when you don't have anything better to do on That's a rainy right. winter night. It's when the internet's down, the power maybe is maybe may or may not be out. Monopoly and... by candlelight with wine. Yeah. You know, Monopoly is a great drinking game. You drink you when are you pass go. Right. What's the theme song for Monopoly? I don't know either. I got Someone create a theme song from Monopoly. Yeah, or talk about it in the comments. Oh, it's all 3D-ish. So this is Monopoly. Usually board game adaptations are kind of lame because you end up watching a bunch of terrible animations like this one. Uh, the nice thing about this Monopoly adaptation is it actually goes pretty fast. Uh, you don't end up waiting for a lot of loading screens. You can turn off the, like, the piece moving animations if you want. You'll note that the hat and the car aren't actually driving around, although the I want to see them drive around. Oh, you want to see them move around? Yes. You're the problem with America today, Chan. Uh, I'm gonna go to pause, options, animations on, Hell game music yeah. on. I'm, I'm not go paying money smooth. for an app to replace a board game if I'm not seeing animated stuff. I have no imagination. I want, I want I, to see the car I drive. I don't want to see animations. Now on the iPhone version, you can just shake it. Don't, don't, don't shake the iPad. On this one, you just flick. Touch, hold, and flick. And the dice throw. Uh, I feel like this is a little pretentious. But the upshot is your hey. car will drive across the board. Exactly and how a little pewter car should move. I'm buying States Avenue. The nice thing about this version of Monopoly, which is the same more or less as the iPhone version, there's a couple of different things about it, is that the AI is smart and it will actually trade with you in a way that is advantageous for everyone. You can't bully the AI if you play it on the higher difficulty levels. So it is actually kind of fun. And it has a local multiplayer as well. So, so if you, you have an iPad, play. iPhone, whatever, you can pass and play or alternately, you can play with somebody else on your local area network uh, nice. wirelessly. So it's pretty good. It's uh, it's not at all like the early EA board games like Scrabble that were really super buggy and never worked. Uh, I have had good experiences with this and my wife and I played it a little bit in person, even though we have a Monopoly board game in the other room. Perfect for an airplane. Jenga. Jenga! 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 I don't, that's not quite the theme song. Jenga. Hey, Jenga! It's a new game for the iPhone. This is an old ass old game. It's just blocks. Blocks. We're, we're, we're playing a wooden block game on the iPhone. This is ridiculous. Norm. Look, I can pan around. It's a 3D model of Holy Jenga. Holy shit. So uh, you can tap blocks. Uh, the more red it is, it means the more fi uh, fixed in place it is. Oh, for example, that one is white, which means it's easily movable. So uh, this one is kind of pinkish. I worry with a game like this that oh. you're going to lose the delicate touchiness oh, of this game. I'm pulling it out. You can, you can drag it. You get to hold it and drag it a little bit. Ah, pulled it out. Physics. And drop it in. There are physics indeed. So for example, if I want to poke one, ah, oh, it's not a good one. It's dark red. No. How that one? That one's pretty good. The, I can tap it out in the middle. Yeah. Look at that. Popping out. And it came out all the way. Drop. Huh. Or if I want to go crazy, that one is not perfectly uh, ready to come out. I can tell. Oh, no. Oh no, it's kind of shaking already. If I tug this the wrong way. I feel as though this is not a oh. capturing the full danger of the Jenga experience. Look, it's already kind of twisted. And can you be an asshole and put uh, put the next layer on early before the three are on the top yeah, layer? Yeah, I, I can try to do that. Let's see. Look at that. I'm just going to make it really okay. tall. And I'm going to try this one, middle one again. You are not a friend of Jenga. Nope, you, can, that, well, you do that one. I think you have to be two layers down in the roll. Let's, let's try, uh oh, danger zone. And if I tug it too much, the whole uh, can tower Can you just leave it dangling there? Or do you, once yeah, you touch it, you're committed. Nope, I can, I can pull this one uh -huh. out. 
I feel as though this. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh let me boy. pull another one. Can't you lean uh, the iPhone to get uh, it straight again? The uh, no, there's no tilt. I, I, I don't, I, I fail to see the point of this game, Norman Chan. Oh, the, 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 it's a, it, now it's a crazy tower. Is there a drinking game mode in this? There is no drinking game mode in this game. The hell not. I'm gonna go pull this one out. Oh man, I can't believe that one stayed in place. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh shit. You're, you're, oh. oh my God. I believe that is what you call a Jenga. Jenga. Congratulations. Hey, it's a new personal best. Everybody's I'm a not winner. very good at this game. Hmm. So there are other modes too. There's an arcade mode and a pass and play mode. Is the arcade mode where you like people. have a racing wheel and stuff? No, arcade modes where they're just Colored blocks. You have to, you have to beat use. The, you have to use the same color as me. There's a timer Black and stuff. These look plasticky. There needs to be a drinking game mode for this too. It's kind of fun. Jenga is an awesome drinking game. Not that I encourage, you know, irresponsible. Ooh, drinking. I got points. Why? Why did you get points? This is arcade mode. You get points for that. This is crazy. I like this. My game. name is Will Smith, and I do not approve of this game. Dead Rising. Who loves zombies? I love killing zombies, Norm. Uh, I like zombies. Get a little sick of them, but I like them. The, oh, I'm used to them. There's gonna be a I lot more it. now. Uh, this is it. Dead Rising Mobile for iPhone. It's only on iPhone right now. So I can kill zombies $5. on my phone. You can. It looks familiar. Look, you are a guy in a mall, and you have weapons. For example, I have a baseball bat. Now I, I bash make this. weapons out of Actually, weapons. I have a shiv. So I can weapon things while I'm weaponing things. You can uh, get new weapons later in the game. I don't know if you can combine them. Oh. Uh, I don't think it's actually very good. Control, camera controls are it, really lame. That double stick on the screen is always a mark of a bad Well, it's, game. it's actually just like one the, stick. So it's not even the virtual double stick. stick. It's just movement and the camera just kind of delay pans around you. Like, Ooh. you can be running toward the camera for a while and you don't know if you're running into a zombie. It looks pretty decent graphics wise. Graphic wise is okay. There's a lot of popping, like the zombies, I couldn't see them a second ago. That's the last thing you want popping in. Yeah, popping in zombies. <laughs> Uh, but I've killed 35 of them now. Um, and uh, just like the console version of Dead, uh, Dead Rising, you can't save the game unless you get into the safe room. Are you playing as Chuck or Frank? I think you're playing as whoever was in the first game. It's, so it's, Frank. It's a leather jacket guy, not motorcycle not jacket motorcycle guy. Not motorcycle guy. Okay. So uh, you get missions, you go into the box. You Those, like killing zombies, right, Norm? I, I do like killing zombies. This is kind of monotonous. Does it have all the... Does it have all the inventive ways to kill zombies? There are new uh, weapons that you uncover, and some of which are kind of inventive. I haven't reached that far yet. Uh, so you go into the box and you get the daily news, which is assignments. One mission is now available. I got to check out that car. Is it as crushingly difficult and like time-based as the as the console? There games? are some time-based missions, uh, I think, and uh, but it's the slashing is pretty easy. How I much mean, is this game? Five dollars. That's not so bad. That's kind of a lot for an it, iPhone game. Yeah. Is it? I, I think three bucks would be great. Um, you get Infinity Blade for a dollar more. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's not that hot either, though. I mean, it looks nice. Yeah, this game doesn't look that great, but it runs well. Man, those were some awesome games, weren't they, Norman Chan? Yeah, I'd say three of them were pretty awesome. I'm not so hot on Harry Potter. And Jenga is stupid. Yeah. Stupid Jenga. iPhone no, Jenga. No, Dead Rising was the, I Dead think, the Rising. stupid one. Thanks for yeah. Gary for popping in. Yeah, and talking Where about something. Where did he something. go? Where did he go? See you next time. Is there anything that iPhone economy has really skewed our, our idea of value where we go, ooh, five bucks, a bit, a bit expensive? Well, so the question is, is the iPhone economy skewed or is the normal console economy skewed? I feel like 60 bucks is a lot for a six hour game. I, you know, oh no! I, but I also feel, I think you're right, I think iPhone games are generally too too cheap it's for like, what they are. It's like two, 199 is now what you expect to pay, and like 299 is like premium yeah. game. Yeah, exactly. Which is which is pretty bargain basement still. I mean, that's what you tip the pizza guy. You know, you give him three bucks and you can get a game for that. Now. I wish I was your pizza guy. You not you not tip the pizza. Of course, guy? I tip the pizza guy. I don't want him to spit on my yeah, pizza. With a bucks, stick of gum. Little on the heavy side for you. Uh, it depends on how much pizza I'm getting. Plenty more where that came <laughs> from. It depends on how surly he is with the pizza too. All right. What do you mean surly? Like if he's if, if he has a good manner, is he? Yeah. If he pizza? Ca if he comes in, it's like, hey, here's your pizza, buddy. Fuck you. I'm not gonna give him three well, bucks. If he says fuck you, I'm probably not gonna give him three bucks. Well, even if it's implied. I feel like we're getting off the track a little bit here of this dead rising. Yeah, so, so dead rising. Uh, yeah, it's dead on the rising. iPhone. It's not on iPad though. This no, one, right? it's no, only on iPhone. Could you blow it on iOS. the iPad? And what would that look like? Well, that would look it looks like this, but twice as big. Oh, so then twice as blocky. Yeah. Okay. I think we should finish this now. It kind of looks like an N64 game. Yeah. Like that kind of feels it's like kind of thing to Dead say. Rising, the Superman of N64 of iPhone games. Good talk, guys.